rig two cam setup. Hmm? Rig two camera setup. Nice. <laughs> camera one, camera two. Camera one. Camera one, camera two. Recently just hit this kind of awesome, fun milestone of 200 appearances in MLS. Yeah. And just now, like, do you, do you remember what game it was? I have no idea, honestly. I was like, congratulate for 200 games for something. And then like two weeks later, I was congratulated for 200 games again. And I'm not even counting the games, honestly. That's just me. I'm not even counting the games. I just want to go out there on the field and be able to play and enjoy and fight with any, anybody else who's on the field who's ready to fight. You know, I got your back. You got my back. You know, that's 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 the greatest feeling when you're stepping on the field, knowing that you have each other's backs and you all you all want to go out there and achieve the same goal. MLS sub website says Marky. You're, you're yeah. saying Mark, what's, uh, what, what, are, what are we going with that? It's Mark now, officially, right? Just older, you know? Just, uh, is this on? Oh, yeah, is this? We're rolling, we're rolling. Oh, oh, we're talking now. We're talking now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just Mark, you know? Marky's kind of been my name since uh, kindergarten. So, you know, it's, it was just a, a nickname given from my kindergarten teacher and kind of stuck. And it was, you know, it was Mar Marky spelled with a K-I-E, you know, before. And then as I got a little older, like high school, I, you know, changed it to a Y. And then now that I'm getting even, you know, older, uh, you know, I just changed it to Mark. Because most people who know me by Marky are people who I've known since, you know, I was like eight, nine. You know, new people I'm getting to know, you know, just call me Mark, you know. I'm older now, you don't know me like that. So yeah, that's another thing. You don't know me like that. So I, I changed it to, to Mark, you know, it's whatever. I, I grew up in Pomona and f since I was like four, I, and then I moved from there to a little city called Glendora. Not much people know it. Um, there's a city called Glendale that's a little, you know, more richer and more well known, but they get it mixed up with Glendora. Glendora is just smaller. I I played Sunday League in Pomona, so I was kind of going back and forth from city to city, and that's a lot with my parents, you know, being willing to drive back and forth, take me everywhere, you know, and do all these things. Soccer's always been with me, whether it was, you know parents taking me somewhere or just watching a game on TV. A lot of the games we watched were just like uh, Liga MX. It's just cause, you know, I grew up in a Mexican household. So those are my roots. After the Sunday league and all that, moved on to club, moved on to academy, then moved on to a residency. It was like a US program, US soccer program, residency in Florida, where you, you, know, you live out there and you basically play soccer every day. You know, you train every day, you go to tournaments, and then they have like a school for you as well. So school of soccer, school of soccer. That's when I was introduced to like the gym, the gym workouts, strengthening, getting stronger, all the technique, balance, all that extra stuff I had no clue about. There's a player on the Chivas USA Academy. And I was like, hey, like talk to whoever it is that you talk or you know within the Chivas USA academy coach assistant coach whatever like i like to you know try it out he's like yeah talk to the guy next thing you know he's like all right yeah after you can come there's like the generation adidas tournament did well at that tournament ended up staying there longer i eventually signed on a first team contract with you know the first team with as usa but i was still continuing to play games with the, the academy just to get minutes the reserve game there's a reserve league just like the young players are playing like tfc2 games here major changes have been announced
announced for Major League Soccer. MLS Commissioner Don Garber announced Monday that the league will be implementing a new strategy for the Los Angeles market, which includes Chivas USA ceasing all operations. MLS will conduct a dispersal draft for the Chivas USA roster to be announced at a later date. I knew, knew what was happening. I knew the team was gonna fold. We had a lot of meetings, members, like staff from upstairs, and we're all together because this is the last year for everybody. And me as a young player, I was just seeing it like, I know what's going on, but at the same time, I'm a young player and I just need to like fight to get minutes to show I can play in the league, that I am a, you know, I'm a quality player, and I can, I can hold my own basically. Like I have potential. Come the time of the dispersal draft, it was like first round, second round, you know, at round after round after round, a player would get chosen, another player, another player, or pass, pass, pass. And then like, I don't even know what it was, 14th round, 17th round, I don't even know. Toronto FC chooses me. I didn't know how to feel. I really didn't know how to feel. No, that was far. It's another country. Los Angeles is my home, you know? I didn't expect to be so far, but knowing it was Greg kind of helped. You know, Greg, Robin, you know, the, I knew the coaches, that kind of helped. After spending years here, I've, I've grown a lot. City, team, what we've been through together, I would say it helped, it helped me grow a lot as a person, as a player. Yeah, it feels like a second home. I'm not even counting the games, honestly. That's just me. I'm not even counting the games. I just, I want to go out there on the field and be able to play and enjoy and fight with any, anybody else who's on the field who's ready to fight. You know, I got your back, you got my back. You know, that's, that's, that's the greatest feeling when you're stepping on the field, knowing that you have each other's backs and you all, you all want to go out there and achieve the same goal. Loved every moment here every night that you have a great game where the team has a great game and we come out with a great result is a memorable night. Through the ups and downs, playing here at BMO Field is, for me, it's top in this league. Being here for a very long time and, you know, always week in, week out, having games here at BMO, uh, re representing this club, wearing the badge, fighting for the fans, the sporting supporter groups, all, all of them who are very passionate about the team. I don't take that lightly, you know, there's a lot of responsibility when you put this jersey on and you step on that field. It's been a big honor. I'm still waiting for my 200 game picture in the training ground. I think I might just go put up a tape and put Delgado there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know.